In Israel, hunger strikes continue by Palestinian prisoners being held without charge. One of those is Hana Ashalabi, who today entered her 12th day of an open ended hunger strike. Two weeks ago, Israeli officials ordered Ashalabi to be put under administrative detention for six months. Yesterday, they moved her to solitary confinement. FSRN's Ghassan Banora has the story. Hana Shelabi was imprisoned for two years without charge before being released as part of the last October's prisoner swap deal with Israel. Now she's imprisoned again. Her brother, Ammar Shelabi, explained to FSRN how the army arrested his sister two weeks ago. When the army came to our house, at first they said they are not going to arrest her. Five minutes later, they started to intimidate us and became violent. After that, they assaulted my sister along with my older brother before arresting her. That's what happened. Protesting the legality of administrative detention, Hannah Ashelabi is one of many prisoners who've resorted to hunger strikes. Another detainee, Adnan Khadr, reached a near-death condition and organ failure after two months of a hunger strike. He ended his strike last week when Israel pledged to release him in April. Israel uses administrative detention to hold Palestinians without charge. Some people are held for years, and experts say it's difficult to get people out. Ayman Karaja is a researcher for Al Damir Association for Human Rights. Basically, administrative detention orders deprive the defendant and the lawyers the right to refute the charges because there are no charges presented by the military prosecutor. The file is usually inaccessible by the lawyers under the pretext of being classified. The court justifies the secrecy of the files as a high security need of the occupying state. Palestinian human rights groups estimate that Israel is currently detaining 4,500 Palestinian prisoners, 300 of them administrative detention. Ghassan Banura, FSRN, Bethlehem.